Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm gonna get quotes for seven of the most common pet insurance companies that I see at the pet hospital. I applied for pet insurance saying that I have a six month old lab who is healthy, male, and intact. And I'm gonna go over the most expensive to the most affordable or cheapest option out there. Before we start, we must have a couple ground rules. One, the pet insurance company must be underwritten. The pet insurance company must have a deductible of $250. That means once you pay $250, the pet insurance company will start covering after that. And when they start paying, the pet insurance company must cover 90% of these expenses. And at a minimum, we want the pet insurance company to cover $10,000 of expenses a year. These are gonna be the premiums you're gonna pay once a month to carry the pet insurance. Trupanion is the most expensive option at $85 a month. This plan is unlimited. Number six is gonna be ASPCA at $76 a month. Number five is Embrace at $64 a month. Number four is Pumpkin, just edging out Embrace. Number three is Figo at $48. Number two is Pets Best at $37. This is a big drop from the 48 for Figo down to 37 for Pets Best. Also guys, Pets Best is also an unlimited option. And number one, and you guys may have guessed it, is Lemonade. Lemonade comes in at only $30 a month, which is just crazy. Always talk to your veterinarian about what you feel like is the best option for your cat or your dog or what they like to use at their veterinary hospital. With that being said, most veterinary hospitals use every pet insurance company. It's not like human medicine. So you just submit your claim and then things are covered. Now, some pet insurance companies have a whole handful of fancy new options where they will pay ahead of time and uh, things that make life easier for you. And some of these guys have add-ons, which is really cool, where you can add certain things on like office visits or end of life options or preventative care. My favorite by far is the office visit one because office visits guys are getting crazy expensive. Like, I started practicing like 10 years ago and office visits have risen so much since then. An office visit is when you walk in the door and most visits are like 50 to 60 bucks right now just to walk in and say hi to the veterinarian. And then if you go to the emergency clinic, some of them are like 150, 200. Right there guys, you're gonna save a ton of money by having office visits on there. So if you pick one of the cheaper options and then you do an add-on of an office visit, you're gonna have a really good plan for coverage just as you progress through the year. So guys, I hope this was really informative. It was really fun for me to go through and get all these quotes. Everybody's been emailing me saying, Dan, don't forget about your quote over here at Trupanion or Figo. Um, but it was, it was fun and I hope this was helpful for you guys and give you guys some insight about um, some different options. And there are a lot of websites out there that rank pet insurance companies, but I don't know what they're ranking. It's just kind of weird. And um, I've had people have the most expensive and the cheapest options and there's always gonna be a complaint on both. Making sure guys that you take your doggy or your cat in and they say that you have a healthy dog before getting your pet insurance is a really, really good idea. So establish that care, establish you have a healthy dog, do it when they're young, and then you should have very few problems with getting things covered. All right guys, as always, I'm Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thank you for joining me today, I really appreciate it. I hope this was really insightful and good information. If it was, like and subscribe, it's free.